been the launch of the World Cup Heritage Exhibition that's going to be in Leeds Central Library for the next month. Uh, it's the first real project that the uh, Leeds Rugby Foundation Heritage Committee can roll out to the people of the City of Leeds. We've done memorabilia at dinners before, but this is a lovely link between libraries, the World Cup, reading uh, and rugby league, so we're, we're really proud to have had something to do with it. very important that we shouldn't forget is the library element I mean, I've always been passionate about books and reading and literature and again that that third strand to this I think it is vitally important you know getting people into the library getting them reading books talking about literature it's all all part of it. it's fantastic the, the other thing that we're really excited about that ties into the World Cup is the unveiling of a blue plaque as well that the rugby ground is, a, is going to have a, its own designated blue plaque uh, commemorating the historic events that have gone on at that ground. It's not Leeds specific, it's the first Challenge Cup final was staged there, the first acknowledged international was staged there uh, and we're going to tie that into the first World Cup game when the New Zealanders are over to unveil that uh, with that World Cup game in mind because New Zealand were the opponents for that first international test. So again it's, it's trying to make all these things fit and, and add value to the current World Cup by linking it to the, to the past. Yes, myself and a guy called Peter Benson, we're sort of partners in crime. Uh, we did all the text for the placards, gathered together all the photographs, all the memorabilia, uh, begged, stolen or borrowed, uh, and some bought. Uh, and yes, it's turned out very well with the, the help of the uh, technical staff of the library, we've been very, very cooperative indeed.